Hi, I'm Alf Mendez from Robert Half, and I'm joined by my colleague, Casey Jones. We're excited to share some diversity, equity, and inclusion trends that can be found in this year's salary guide. I have a question for you, Alf. When you look at the DEI trends, what shows you that businesses are indeed prioritizing DEI? I love this question because it falls beautifully with my day job. There's a few things that we're really seeing in this space. The first, this idea of representation. In addition, we're seeing a lot more investment in employee education and training. So really being able to build diversity competency and integrating that into day jobs so that it doesn't feel like an add-on to someone's job. We're also looking to increase spend in programs and organizations that support DEI. So a lot of the external strategic alliances and national diversity partnerships to really be able to engage in a talent pipeline and to drive engagement and outreach efforts as well. And finally, companies are starting to organize more of these DEI discussion groups or employee resource groups or network groups. But really these opportunities for underrepresented employees to come together and create a sense of community, but also to drive education to really be able to foster that sense of belonging that we're all looking to create. What work do companies need to do to improve? And how can they know that their DEI efforts are creating a meaningful impact? True DEI happens when employees and individuals feel both safe and supported to be their best, most authentic self at work. When these individuals and employees are treated fairly and have equal access to opportunities to grow within the company, and that they feel recognized and feel valued as parts of a team, no matter their background or their role. Well, thanks for spending some time with me today, Casey, and thank you for joining. Check out our website to learn more about DEI trends in the 2022 Salary Guide.